Russian pilots turns his colleagues into Ukrainian intelligence after strike on Okhmatdit. A Russian pilot from the 22nd Heavy Bomber Aviation Division provided Ukrainian intelligence with information about his colleagues. These individuals are the ones constantly launching KH-101 missiles at Ukrainian cities, according to the informed source. According to the agency's source, a pilot from the 22nd Heavy Bomber Aviation Division, Unit 06987, based at Engels Airfield, contacted the Defense Intelligence of Ukraine. The Russian pilot wrote to the intelligence chatbot that he and several of his colleagues were shocked by the attack on the children's hospital and did not understand why they were being ordered to attack civilian infrastructure in Ukraine. That's why he decided to pass documents related to his military unit's activities and private photos of the command staff of the 22nd Heavy Bomber Aviation Division to the Ukrainian side. According to the source, even the initial analysis of the materials obtained shows their extreme importance. Among the provided information are personal files of senior officers, personal data of Russian servicemen and their families. The top secret documents of the 22nd Heavy Bomber Aviation Division are considered the most valuable. Investigators discovered the wreckage of a KH-101 cruise missile at the site of the damaged hospital. These missiles are carried by TU-95 and TU-160 strategic bombers in service with the 22nd Guards Heavy Bomber Aviation Division. It was a targeted attack. This is evidenced not only by the missile debris found at the impact site, but also by the analysis of the flight path data, the investigators stated. On July the 8th, Russia carried out a massive strike on Ukrainian territory. Kiev was under attack and one of the missiles attacked, the Okhmat Dit Children's Hospital. Later, the UN Security Council convened an emergency meeting to discuss the enemy's massive shelling. Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmitry Kuleba later stated that Russia attempted to block Ukraine's participation in the initiated meeting due to the massive missile attack on July the 8th. By July the 10th, it was reported that the first child had died who was in the intensive care unit during the shelling. Norway will allocate an additional 1 billion Norwegian krone or about $94 million to boost Ukraine's defense systems amid Russia war of invasion. The brutal attacks we have seen over the past week show why it is so important for Ukrainians to have stronger protection against Russian air attacks. In cooperation with Germany, Norway will transfer a modern Iris T air defense battery to Ukraine this fall, Prime Minister Steer said. Iris T is a short range air defense missile system that includes three truck mounted launcher trucks, a multifunctional radar for target detection and tracking, and a command post truck. It should be noted that in May, Oslo pledged to increase aid to Ukraine by about $630 million. Norway partners with Germany, the United States, and other allies to find anti-aircraft ammunition to better protect Ukraine's skies. NATO allies have been stepping up efforts to strengthen Ukrainian army amid intensified Russian attacks. U.S. State Secretary Antony Blinken announced on Wednesday that the transfer of the first batch of F-16 fighter jets was underway from NATO countries of Denmark and Netherlands. In a joint statement, the leaders of the U.S., the Netherlands and Denmark reiterated commitment to further enhance Ukraine's air defense capabilities.